Hello, Dr. Dorsey here, an inventor of sit and decompress therapy. I have an amazing announcement to make. Sit and decompress is now inflatable. You can fill this up and inflate the harness to improve comfort and to improve slippage. Okay, just like blowing up a raft. Use the valve here, open up the valve, blow air into it, and it then is inflatable. Okay, we tried this before and we did it before. It was called sit and decompress with air, but it was not inflatable. It was just bubble wrap sewn into it. So this is super exciting. It's more comfortable. It, it creates more grip around your ribs. And it's just more adjustable for different size and, and shape people. So just wanted to bring this out there and let you guys know that it's now inflatable. It's wonderful. It's great. And it just makes sit and decompress therapy that much better. So I'm going to demonstrate on how it works here coming up. Okay, I want to demonstrate how sit and decompress the inflatable version works, okay? If, you, if you're if you new to sit and decompress, I'm going to go through all the steps. If you're old to sit and decompress and you've had the other one, well, welcome back. And I'm just going to show you how to use it uh, from, the, from, the, from the top, okay? So obviously this is already set up, but it's the setup is the same. Really, the only difference is is just the air valve and, and what blows up, okay? So, let's take it down here, show you how easy it is to set up. All right, so some people already have chin-up bars in their house. If you don't, we can sell these to you. Uh, this is this is just a doorway chin-up bar. If you want to look on Amazon or Walmart, you can get them there also, okay? But this is super important. Put it in the door. Make sure it's attached to the back, like that, okay? Nice and strong and sturdy, it's not gonna come off. And then we gotta set up the, the harness, okay? Now, the blue straps, this indicates air, okay? This is a little bit different than the other version. The other version is just black on black. Black with the blue straps indicates inflatable. So, what I did there is just brought the D-rings. I'll, I'll show you on this one. Bring the D-ring up over, okay? And this is the front strap. So, how do you set up the D-rings? Put them both together, run it through both of them, okay? Then you split them, you send it down through, okay? That's the initial setup. Now, with the inflatable part, open up the valve. Me, I like it about half full, okay? Now, you can adjust it to whatever you like. That's what's so amazing about this. Um, you may like it with a lot of air, you may like it with very little, or you don't have to use air at all but it's just a nice option, okay? With me, I like it about half full. So, that's about right. You can see what happened, it bubbled up. So you don't have to, you don't have to push this in the body either. It's easier just to leave it out, okay? Leave the valve out. All right, so you're ready. Step in, wrap it around chest level. Another nice feature about this, is that it's now con it contours your ribs better. So people were getting some pinching underneath the arm. It shouldn't happen anymore. It should not happen. It's super comfortable. Okay? So nice and tight. Okay? Grab them around, reach around and grab these. Now this heart this strap here is not to be over tightened. Okay? I see some people they're getting in here and they're pulling on this thing super hard, thinking that the harder the day pull this, the less slippage they're going to have. Well, you're not going to have that problem anymore, but the main purpose of this belt is just to keep the Velcro from coming undone, okay? Because if you're if you're a bigger person, you may be out on the end here of the Velcro, and you just don't want that to come undone, so you put that on, okay? So, nice and, you know, nice and snug. Just pull the overhead straps, just pull the overhead strap. That's it, take all the slack out. So nice and, stand up nice and tall, okay? Adjust whatever needs to be adjusted, okay? And then when you sit down, don't move your feet, okay? Just sit straight down, grab here, nice and relaxed, okay? I see some people that are like, you know, grab a hold, just relax. Nothing's gonna happen yet. Just sit down. Neutral stance, okay? Everyone starts here. Neutral stance, if this is your first time doing it, you're not gonna quite understand what's going on yet. It may be tough to relax, but just kind of sit here, you know, melt into it, keep your elbows into your side, and then this is something new, so 
people have used it before. And I want you to take your knees, and I want you to go in and out. And what, what, we've, or what I've noticed, it helps people relax, especially starting out, okay? And it also unlocks the hips and the low back and the SI joint, okay? Just by going in and out, in and out. So maybe do that 20, 30 times, okay? And then once you're done with that, you're going to go into split stance, okay? So left leg back. Whichever leg you take back is the side you're going to focus most of the stretch on. You're going to feel it immediately, okay? Lots of stretch on that left side. And just ideally put your hands up here. It's just, it's just more comfortable. You know, you could do like this, but it's just better to put them up here, okay? And then from here, the same thing. You're going to take your hip and your knee, and you're just going to like, just like work it a little bit out, in, out, and you'll feel that tighten up, or not tighten, you'll feel that stretch, okay? Same thing on the other side. Switch it up, right leg back. My stretch. Same thing. You know, if you want to wiggle it a little bit, just to relax that hip, okay? Most people are tight, right? So those, so those muscles are, are, they don't want to relax, okay? So you got to like work with them. Okay, from here. And if you need to adjust it at all, you can always stand up, adjust, pull it down a little bit. Okay, if you, need, if you want to put more air in it, go ahead and put more air in it. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to put more air in it. Okay. thing around okay now we'll do neutral so neutral straight down okay then we do split stance and the last thing is flexion out on your heels again spine head everything nice and erect come out on your heels here and you're gonna act like a gas pedal you're pushing on the gas push on the gas take the pressure off the gas Okay, it's a nice swing, and you'll feel when you do that, opens up that spine. Great stretch. You're gonna do that about 20 times. Rock 20, okay? First week, three minutes every day. If that's easy for you, following week, you can do four minutes. If that's easy for you, following week, do five. Following week six, okay, never more than six minutes at a time. And then once you reach six minutes, you can do it multiple times a day, okay. But we found that six minutes, maybe six to eight minutes. After that, you don't get much. You don't get much uh, improvements, diminished returns. And we just noticed that most people get good results at six between six and eight minutes, okay. And that's it. That's how the inflatable sit and decompress works. Everything's pretty much the same except for it's just better. Right? Contours of your ribs, more comfort, no pinching, and super easy to use. Okay, take it down off the door. You know, you're good to go. Set it up. Back here. Okay. Oh, one last thing. If you see these tattoos here, these are temporary. My two-year-old daughter, she she she's crazy about dinosaurs. So she had a, a two-year-old uh, birthday party with dinosaur themes. So hopefully these will come off one day. But um, if you have any questions or comments, you know, always leave them in the section below. I'll get to them as soon as possible. And uh, you can shoot me an email or, or call our office. Our, uh, our office is always open and uh, we're here to help. So uh, thanks for watching. And again, yeah, it, it's what a great product.